What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do a car video because it seems all the rage right now. Plus it's really easy. I'm in the process of editing a video about the Hudson Selection Series. Just a little heads up on the GameCube and the PS2. There's some really cool games, some legacy titles that Hudson you know, ported over to the GameCube and the PS2. So I'm going to share all those with you guys. Should be a kind of interesting video, but I don't feel like finishing and editing and doing all that video stuff today. I kind of want to relax and just take it easy in case I get a banger day at work tomorrow. But Anyway, I was just thinking about that Nintendo PlayStation prototype that went up for auction. You know, I'm not sure who the auction house is that is selling that thing or the percentage of money they get. Maybe it's 10%. You know, I don't know. I haven't looked that far into it. But when I think about, you know, me growing up, you know, I had a 2600. I had a Nintendo. A NES was the first actual new brand new video game system my parents bought for me. But I was huge on the Super Nintendo and the PlayStation. When I got a hold of one of them and the RPGs, it was a wrap, you know, I've been playing RPGs ever since, really. So, when I think about, like, what's the most significant piece of video game history, at least that I can relate to, that Nintendo PlayStation is, it's up there. You know, I could only imagine having something like that. It'd be the crown jewel of my collection. What You know, I'm not a huge collector right now, but I got some cool pieces, and, you know, I would love to have something like that. So, I think about, like, celebrities or, you know, people that are close to my age, I'm almost 40, that are, you know, really well off. You know, there's some players out there that could potentially, you know, throw a lot of money at that thing. Did it sell yet for a set amount of money? You know, I don't know. I, I looked it up online, couldn't find anything. Let me know in the comments if that thing sold. I did hear a figure of it. It had reached a, a point of like $350,000 at a certain point in the auction. You know, I don't know all the details behind that. I would love to know if you guys can give me some information down below. But, you know, I just thought about that. And I thought about, God, how much money is that thing gonna or has it sold for? You know, it's got to be, you know, well up in the millions, right? So I'd, I'd love to hear your comments and thoughts on that. That Nintendo PlayStation, that thing's pricey. So something else that was on my mind, I got a message from Canadian Gamer. He was like at the six minute mark or whatever in this video. You might really appreciate this. And he sent me a link to a video of somebody that I actually interact with on YouTube and follow. And that's Dad and Lads Gaming. And the video, the part of the video that he was talking about was talking about the PlayStation Classic. And he had to load ROMs or it was preloaded with ROMs or whatever. I forget the case. But he had a copy of Dead on Pachi on there and it supports screen rotation. And I thought that was a really interesting thing to show in the video of the PlayStation Classic because I've been really thinking about getting one of those. Like, I don't need a huge, massive collection of video games. Like, I don't. I don't want that. Like, I live with in-laws right now, so I don't want to have a bunch of stuff cluttering their house, but I just don't want a lot of stuff. I don't want to have to take a lot of stuff with me. And, you know, like, yes, I have, like, the shooters, and there's certain RPGs that's probably going to be pretty hard to part with, but... You know, when I think about those classic mini systems, the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo, the PlayStation Classic, the Sega Genesis Classic, the, uh, the, uh, what, the Commodore 64, there was a classic for one of those, there's a Turbo Graphics and PC Engine coming out. I want that because it's got um, Sapphire on there. I need, need need that game. I might get that on the PSP. It's kind of pricey, but, you know, that's beside the point. What I'm talking about is having full ROM sets on these classic mini systems and not having to have this huge clutter of video games. And, you know, it's like you're playing on original hardware, too, because it's the classic system. That's why it's perfect. You can play the ROMs on original hardware. So, I, you know... Oh God, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think I might start selling off some more games just to buy many systems. That way I can just load full ROM sets. And even if I don't do it myself, I'll go on Etsy and buy a flash drive with everything on it that you just plug into the system and then you have access to everything. You know, look at the PlayStation Classic. You can run emulators on that thing. You can run RetroArch on that. So you can buy the PlayStation Classic, right? full ROM set, get a one terabyte hard drive from somebody on Etsy. It's probably going to be like a hundred bucks or you can do it yourself. It, I couldn't figure out how to do that myself, but you got PlayStation, you got Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Mega Drive, PC Engine, TurboGrafx-16, Neo Geo AES. There's, you can probably do Neo Geo CD. You know, I don't know if it'll support that, but it might. You know, Maybe it'll do Neo Geo CD. I just said that. Sega CD. <laughs> maybe it'll do Sega CD. You know, I don't know. I haven't uh, tried that out on RetroArch. You know, from what I remember, Sega CD games and Neo Geo games were kind of hard to run on RetroArch on an Android device. So, you know, I don't know. I can get a Neo Geo CD, not a Neo Geo CD, Sega CD. I can get a Sega CD game to run on MD.EMU. Not all games, just some of them. I can get Android Assault to run, but I can get that to run on MD.EMU on an Android device. So, 
you know, with that PlayStation Classic, you can run a lot of systems on there. And, you know, it's not going to be original hardware for all the systems, but for a lot of them, I think that's a really good solution. So, you know, I think I might invest in one of those. I know they're pretty cheap. What, like 40 bucks now? You can get one for like 40 bucks. 40 bucks and then throw like $100 for like one of those one terabyte hard drives with everything on it. That might be the way to go. So I would love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments down below. You know, I see Canadian Gamer in the background of his videos. He's got the little mini systems and I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's why you're doing that Canadian Gamer. You you know that you know, that's the way to go. Play all your classic stuff on the mini systems. Why do you need to spend all this money and have all this stuff when you can just have everything in a small form factor and you're playing on original hardware? You know, I... I feel like that's the way to go, so yeah, I think I might just bite the bullet and get a PlayStation Classic, and if I really, really, really like that, and I get the hard drive, because I'm going to have to get the hard drive for it so I can play everything, if I really like that, I'll probably sell off some more stuff, and maybe not everything, but some more stuff, maybe some RPGs, you know, I don't know, but, you know... Again, you know, I want to know what your thoughts are this are on this in the comments down below. Do you guys love the little classic mini systems? Like I said, Canadian Gamer, I think he likes them, but I'm I'm late to the, the ball on this one because I don't own any of them. You know, I pretty much have original hardware, and I do have, like, a Retro Duo, and, um, you know, I run Retro Arc on my PC, and I got a modded uh, PSP and stuff like that. But, um, you know, other than that, I don't really have a lot of, you know, modded systems and, you know, emulation devices. I do have a GPDXD though, and that thing's awesome. But anyways, guys, till next time, peace out.